Now we're going to edit and clean up our drum track. So we're going to highlight our drums only by clicking on the drum group and open our view to a medium size. And we're going to look at the front of each region and see if we need a crossfade there. And if not, we're going to put one in. We can expand out our view. Then we can use our tab key to move from region to region. Now this edit was done on a grid, so we're missing the front part of the drum hit. So we're going to solo it and take a listen. And get out of grid. And we're going to move the region forward to catch the transient and put a small crossfade on it. Now we'll take a listen to this spot. So right here we're going to drag out the region and we'll put a crossfade on it. And right over here we have a spot where the drummer's not playing. Check it out. So we can make it a smaller region and delete anything we don't need. And we can add a crossfade to the front and back of it. And here we'll clean up the ending. So now we're going to go to our toms and we're going to clean them up so there's no leakage before or after the tom hits. Another alternative is riding the automation up and down to lower the leakage. If this doesn't sound funny and it makes sense with the overheads, this can be done as well. So we'll just trim back the fronts and the back of each tom hit and we're going to put a fade before and after. 